Welcome to another demonstration video of the Digit Management System. In this one I'm going to show the capabilities of the file system replacement uh, operations that we have built into Digit so that we can uh, manage large numbers of files. Um, you'll see I've got a demonstration pod here in which I've, got, I've previously created over a hundred million digits in this thing. Uh, we have a way to very quickly uh, create demonstration digits. So let's create another million here. Um, it takes just a few seconds to create another million. So now I got 101 million. Um, I also have a capability of importing files. So I can just grab a folder, drop it on the file migration. It will go out, find the files, in this case about 24,000 of them, uh, starts importing them. Because I dropped it on this drop zone, it's going to uh, add these tags from the file system to each digit. It's going to create a new folder and add the digit to those folders so we can get this nice hierarchical tree like you get in File Manager. Uh, we can navigate it just like that. So when this finishes, we'll have over, you know, 101 million digits in our pod. While that's still importing, we can come over here to the query and find, you know, all the files. Um, this one will find all 100 million of them that were in there at the, at the point the query happened. If I want to see just the JPEG photos, click on that one. You see we found 959. If I want to see JPEG and PNG, click on that one. See, we have about 31,000 of them. I can select them all and view them. It'll make a nice little way to scroll through all my JPEG and P PNG files. I can click on any given one and, and it'll bring it up in a larger format for me. But I can quickly find things. Even when I'm looking through 101 million digits, and I want to find just the multimedia, meaning images and audios and videos. It you know finds a, a ton of them. Uh, if I can find all the files that are between one and two megabytes in size, found 3,857 of of that particular size. I can find things with certain number of tags. So all these have either 18 or 19 tags attached. If I want to see one of them, I just pull it up. Here's the tags that are attached. Here's display the content for, for text files here. So, or I can see the hexadecimal output. Uh, again, it lets you quickly find subsets. Uh, I can come over here to my sets, find the folders. And if I want to find all the forms, the files in this QT project forms, there's the 100 and 44 different form files. Uh, I can navigate up. So here's the, just like I was in, in File Manager here, navigate down, find find all the, the files and folders in any given area. If I'm looking at some license agreement, uh, didn't recognize this extension, so it just shows you the hex. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it uh, lets you navigate down, find millions or of, of files or folders, lets you create tons of them, do very lightning fast queries. Uh, never takes more than a second or two to, to find any individual digit or sets of, of large numbers of digits using this system. So I think it's a viable file system replacement for containers that have millions and millions of files in them. Thank you very much.